In this video, we're going to break down what you actually need to know before you head over here to San Luis Obispo, California. we got to let you know a few things. Oprah said it was the happiest place in America. We're going to break it down and see what you think, and we're going to get to it right now. So is San Luis Obispo really the perfect place to live in California on the Central Coast? Well, a lot of people think that, but we're going to break some things down to make you aware of what it's actually like to live here, lifestyle, real estate, and things like that, to see if you've been actually contemplating moving to San Luis Obispo uh, here in California, then let's give you some information as you're exploring and trying to figure out if that's a good decision for you. So the first thing that, that I want to make you aware of and that you actually should know is that San Luis Obispo is a very health-driven community. So that might not fit your lifestyle. You might want to, um, you know, just not have, have that available to you for whatever reason, but, you know, because of our climate, uh, being able to be outdoors a lot and take advantage of the hiking and the water sports, um, and just being outside to do whatever you want to do, your gardening, those types of things. Uh, San Luis Obispo tends to be on the healthier side of a community. So the other thing with that is it could seem a little overkill to some, you know, we have our fresh produce from the farmer's markets. Uh, we also were the first town to ban smoking in the United States of America. And so we took that initiative. Also, since it's a, uh, you know, college community with Cal Poly, there's all the latest and greatest things that are coming out, the innovative things in that department of health and fitness for our young adults in our community. So that might be a little overkill for you, but just know that this, this area here is very uh, committed to health and fitness and you know being outdoors and living that type of lifestyle. So that's just something you need to be aware of as you're making your way over here in California. All right, so this next one is that you need to realize that we are actually a very pet friendly community. So this is all across the board. Uh, restaurants have, you know, water bowls for the pets. Uh, you see a lot of people having one to two pets, um, you know, at, on the sidewalks with their, as they're having um, their lunches outside on the patio area and the dogs are laying down next to them. And on top of that, we have a famous uh, beach, Avila Beach, which we call the dog beach. And the dogs are let off. They're supposed to be on the leashes, but they're off leash and they can roam around and just frolic into the beach and ocean and have, you know, the best life. So, all right, real quick friends, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. That is wonderful for people that are pet friendly. Uh, and have their pets and want to, you know, have your pets along with you, uh, you know, as you are living here, that's definitely going to be an option. And uh, South County, like the beach areas definitely um, are really prone to um, allowing the pets there. And we have our hotels that accommodate a lot of uh, pet, you know, rooms for pets and things like that. So that's a really nice thing to have available to our community, our visitors, our tourists that are coming here, that we are just extremely open to having our pets follow along. And, you know, that's just a, a, what our vibe is here in uh, San Luis Obispo. So on the flip side of that, just know that we are a pet friendly community. And if that's not something that you are comfortable with, you just know that you're gonna come across that as you're living here in San Luis Obispo and its surrounding areas. And this is kind of a big one for you to know as you're exploring San Luis Obispo is that our health care is a bit limited around here. So we do have facilities all throughout the county and in San Luis Obispo, we have um, Sierra Vista and French, but the clients that move to town, their areas like bigger uh, states like, you know, Colorado, Texas and Florida, places like that. You know, we are a more of a limited uh, basis of what we have available to you here in San Luis Obispo. Just realize that you'll have to commute to San Francisco or Los Angeles for better, more specific, in-depth care that isn't your general uh, 
things that come up as we're aging or if you have children that might be um, you know encountering something so that is something that you should look into as you're exploring San Luis Obispo and its surrounding areas in particular in San Luis Obispo as our we, we are a huge retirement community and then we are a college community so parents should look into that as well so that's just something that you need to be aware that our health care is limited around uh, San Luis Obispo. And just realize that at the end of the video, we have more videos that have more information about San Luis, the recent real estate market and what's going on and more information about the Central Coast in general. So be sure and check those out as you're exploring our area. Big thing to take note of with our health care is that we have Dignity Health as our primary, uh, you know, big umbrella of health care uh, with our other uh, smaller ones. So we don't have like a Kaiser. We know that's a really big uh, one in other states. So, you know, just be aware of that for uh, you as you're exploring so our this area. This is a big one. And this is something that you really do need to know to see if this is a perfect place for you. That information you should actually know is our housing affordability. Uh, it doesn't match what our um, incomes are here. The average income is $86,000 a year. And when we are looking at what the median price is in San Luis, it really doesn't match. So let's take a look. Right, so let's take a look at what the median price point is for uh, San Luis Obispo. So here we are. And it is at one million twenty seven fifty right here uh, in 2023 year to date. Uh, this was at the end of March and we've uh, definitely I'm sorry. Yeah, beginning of April. Yes. And so uh, this has probably changed since the spring market has hit. Uh, but, you know, when you're making eighty six thousand dollars a year here as uh, the job market uh, average you know, income is doesn't really make a whole lot of sense with the affordability. Now, with that being said, we do have homes in the 700 price point. We do have condos in the 500, 600 price point, and you know, they're on up. So 800, a million. Uh, so it's not like impossible, but it's just, you know, when you're coming into the area and taking a look at our housing prices, it can, so it can be a, a sticker shock to a lot of people uh, as they're exploring the area. And, you know, that's just kind of where it's at. So that can be something that can influence your move. I get a lot of calls of, hey, I just want something in the 700 range, but I want a three bedroom, two bath, you know, 2,500 square feet. Um, I don't want to be next to a neighbor uh, and so on and so forth. And that's a tall order. So uh, we really need to get specifics um, as you're exploring the area. The nice thing is that there's a lot of different pockets um, within San Luis Obispo that you can explore um, areas. Uh, if you're a young family trying to get over here or a retiree or just a job relocation and there's a lot of new construction going on and they have a lot of builders incentives right now. So that's also really exciting. Um, you can always reach out. Um, we can give you what's out there. Uh, so that's a good possibility to just get over here. It is a little bit higher density build. So they're smaller lots, um, you know, usually two story, but sometimes they're making the masters on the first floor to accommodate, you know, a lot of demographics. So affordability is a concern and that is something that has been um, ongoing for many, many years. And so we are just trying to let you know that as, as you're exploring San Luis Obispo, trying to figure out what you can do. Now there are, uh, you know, Cal Poly students move into town and there's always um, different pockets around Cal Poly that you can find in investment properties that can make sense while your child is going to school there too. It's an option for you as a parent, as you're exploring to figure out how to you know, get your child situated over here as they're attending college. So just remember, if you want specifics to your needs, uh, just reach out, give us a call, text, email, day, evening, weekends, it doesn't matter. We can help you out and figure out what it is that you're looking for, or maybe just have some concerns. I want to explore other areas. That's another great thing is we have a lot of um, surrounding areas around San Luis that can actually work too. And those, you know, closer to the beach, uh, we have our scenic coast, we have North County. So those are other areas that if you just wanna make it over to the central coast, 
We can talk about um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, leave us a comment. That really helps us out. Give us a like. It helps other people just like you find this information. We'll finish off with kind of the heavy hitter here and it kind of piggy piggybacks off of the housing affordability that you need to be aware of is that job market. Our job market is a little tough. Uh, so, you know, we're primarily um, education, government, medical, uh, and then entrepreneurship, you know, private businesses are small businesses are re really fuel um, and our, you know, bigger hotels, hospitality, we're huge on that. That is something if you in management, um, there's hotels, uh, the Marriott just took over some of these hotels around here. So that is a big, big thing. And obviously with these mom and pop, uh, you know, small businesses and restaurants, and stuff like that. That's a definitely a field that you can get into. So if that's that a skill that you have in hospitality, you're going to have no problem. Uh, and just depending, you know, looking around and seeing what places you know, pay better and all that stuff would would be the the thing to look for. But uh, say that we have, you know, big um, Amazon, a big, you know, factoring companies that are, you know, giving a ton of jobs. It would be probably PG&E would be our bigger one too. Um, they're going to be staying open. You know, we have a nuclear power plant and uh, they were going to close it down. Now it's been, the governor uh, gave it another five-year contract. A lot of us really feel it's going to be expanded to another five or like 10 or so. You can't just shut something like that down. Uh, so, you know, just do your due diligence, reach out. Always go to the chamber uh, websites to look for jobs. Um, I'll try to give more information. I'm going to have some more people with the economic um, group here to really kind of give us some up to date of what's on the forefront. If there's any kind of bigger companies coming in, we don't, we don't have a huge manufacturing here. So that's just kind of something that uh, we're lacking because we're on the coast and it just, you know, it's not, uh, don't have the space for stuff like that really around here. So, you know, that is a big one. If you are thinking of moving over here, take a look at the job market and uh, see what it is that you can transfer over, especially if you're like in a prison or something like that. Um, in that type of field, uh, have a Tascadero State Hospital um, up in Atascadero in North County. So in the medical field, you're probably gonna take a you know little bit of an income hit for earnings here, but you're definitely gonna get quality of life. All right, friends, so the only way that we can help you find that sweet spot here in San Luis Obispo, California, or its surrounding areas is you need to reach out. You need to give us a call, text, email, date, evening, weekends. It does not matter because we have your back when you're moving to the Central Coast, California. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.